The following presentation is produced by the Computer History Archives Project. In 1956, the U.S. government entered into a contract with Sylvania Electric Products to build a large mobile digital computer for Army field work. The computer was known as Moby Dick, which stood for Mobile Digital Computer. The early history of this mobile computer is not widely known today. However, it was a technical and engineering milestone at the time. Moby Dick was a transistorized automatic data processing system with multiple components. It could be installed in an unmodified 30-foot Army trailer. The Moby Dick could be transported via Army aircraft to whatever location required. The first Moby Dick computer was delivered to the U.S. Army Signal Engineering Laboratory, Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, in December 1959. Initial success with the computer allowed for four additional Moby Dick computers to be subsequently ordered. Moby Dick's central processing unit, console, magnetic tape units, card machines, and printer were all housed in a single 30-foot van. Electricity was supplied from a second van containing generators. Two other vans contained auxiliary equipment and repair facilities. All four vans were backed up together to create a fully operational installation that could be disconnected and moved as the Army's needs changed. Moby Dick was not, however, the first large mobile computer years earlier in 1954, the National Bureau of Standards had announced a mobile digital computer called the Dysiac. Seen here, the Dysiac was also based in a large truck trailer for easy transportation and relocation. The Army's Moby Dick project, however, was part of a large-scale mobile digital computing and communications strategy called Field Data. Field data was a pioneering project that intended to create a single standard for collecting and distributing battlefield information from multiple sources using mobile computing devices of different sizes and configurations. The following rare film from 1961 provides a unique look at the Moby Dick computer in action. What you are seeing now is not science fiction, but an existing system of accumulating information for command decisions. High-speed communications, evaluation, and administrative procedures have become vital necessities in any future war. To satisfy this need, the U.S. Army Signal Corps, drawing on the resources of American industry, developed a high-speed mobile digital computer, Moby Dick. Housed in 30-foot vans, rugged Moby Dick joined the U.S. 7th Army in Germany in January 1961. Moby Dick brings essential data processing to Field Army Headquarters on its own wheels. It can be airlifted or moved into position with its own power. It is mobile, both on the road and off. With its four-wheel drive tractor, it can be placed in a desired field position in a minimum of time. Moby Dick is ready for operation in a few minutes with a connection of power and signal cables. At the 7th Army Stock Control Center, Moby Dick will shortly begin to process over 100,000 requisitions a month, including those for urgently needed replacement parts for rockets, guided missiles, and atomic artillery. Moby Dick's huge memory, great speed, and accuracy will provide 7th Army with a tool which will control stocks of over 200,000 different line items contained in the Army's depots. 
At the stock control center, requisitions are received on punched cards through Signal Corps communication facilities. The punched card requisitions received from supported units are fed into Moby Dick's card reader. The offline control unit translates the data on the slow moving cards to much faster magnetic tape. Then the magnetic tape reel containing the data is removed. One such reel can contain as much as 10 million characters of information. With its eight tape handling devices, Moby Dick can handle up to 80 million characters in a processing cycle. The reel is now brought to the main computer for processing, where one of the several high-speed tape handling devices connected to the computer is selected to process this data. The reel is loaded and readied for operation. Other necessary information, such as inventory files and program instructions, have been previously loaded on the other tape handling devices. Last minute commands, such as dates and other topical data, are also fed into the computer. The operator sets the computer into operation. The computer now takes over and automatically processes requisitions at electronic speed. The data on the magnetic tape is fed to the computer at a speed of 150 inches or 45,000 characters a second. The computer automatically generates shipping instructions to depots. It prepares requisitions to COM-Z and CONUS depots for replenishment of Army's depot stocks and inventory files are accurately updated simultaneously. When the transactions are completed, the computer is ready to process the next cycle of requisition. The newly generated transactions contained on magnetic tape are converted to punched cards for transmission to distant destinations for action. Moby Dick has a high-speed printer which furnishes the commander up-to-the-minute reports containing information he requires for understanding the present situation and for planning future operations. This printer operates at 600 lines a minute, 10 lines a second. Each line contains 120 characters. Such output is up to 60 times faster than conventional teletypewriter machines. What you have seen is the beginning of mobile, high-speed automatic data processing at all levels of the field army. Field computers such as Moby Dick herald another giant step forward in modernizing and strengthening the Army's striking power. Although much valuable information was learned from the Moby Dick implementations, the evolution of the Army's funding needs changed over time. The field data project was ultimately canceled in 1962. Some Moby Dick installations remained in use in Germany and other areas during the 1960s and possibly beyond. Sylvania had also created a commercial version of the Moby Dick, called the Sylvania 9400, but competition from IBM and others caused Sylvania to exit the large-scale computer business. The following photos include formally classified material courtesy of the National Archives and Records Administration. <laughs>